Welcome to my first tutorial of Laravel. Everyone guys know about Laravel I think uh, before moving to Laravel you must know what the Laravel is and what level to yeah and uh, I want to give a brief description about the Laravel but also that Laravel is a PHP framework which follow MBC pattern yeah and only I'll be saying about that and for the further you have to study by your own self yeah but I'll show you and I'll teach you every coding structure and every way of doing in the level section so before uh, moving to installing the project I'll teach you how we can install and uh, what are the requirements you are needed to install Laravel so go to the laravel.com and uh, I also teach you how you can do documentation and how you can do it through the use of documentation okay installation requirement you can see a server requirement server requirement is because you are doing from PHP side so PHP is a server side scripting language yeah so you need PHP greater than 5.6.4 you need PHP extensions you need PTO because it will be done from PTO I think you know that we can be doing we can be done from uh, MySQL, MySQLite and PTO also in uh, uh, through PHP uh, to interact with server yeah so yeah uh, from layer in level PTO is used to interact with the server yeah every SQL code, uh, code are written to PTO okay now I'll teach you how we can install Laravel into your machine yeah uh, before installing Laravel I mean to say that uh, you have before installing Laravel first of all you must need to install composer into your machine I think you have already installed composer yeah if you haven't installed composer also it is you don't have to be worried about it you can just click composer you can go to the site of composer that is getcomposer.org and you can simply click download yeah and then uh, you can click here if you want to do a manual section then you can do it manually it doesn't matter yeah and then after that you will see that composite file is been downloading right if it's taking too much time then don't worry because it will be fun for the sections yeah and then after if everyone have already installed their well then uh, uh, they may be uh, going to be stalked on how we can make uh, Laravel uh, sorry how can I make composer a global section so I'll teach you how you can make it composer as a global also yeah uh, to make a global section first of all click on the getting started of create a composer yeah to make a composer global and go to the uh, six if you are of Linux Unix and OS X uh, install uh, users then you can go to this sections if, if you are a Windows user then you can go to this section right okay and uh, I am using Mac so I'll teach uh, how we can do and how uh, we can make it composure global in a Mac section so go to the terminal open terminal here yeah and then move your file that is in download composure.far to your user local bin and rename it to composer right rename it to composer just click it enter and it's already been moved from download sections to the uh, your user local bin directory so I would like to go to user it, it is said that if you move it then it will be a global section first of all I will check that is it a global section okay let's do it composer oh no what is this being happening it's saying that permission denied wow okay how we can uh, make it permission how we can give it give uh, permission to write to read uh, for the composer file yeah composer file so 
uh, to do a uh, uh, permission to work with permission then you have to read about CS mode yeah to use CS mode uh, just write it sudo CS mode I want to be talking about briefly about this CS mode section here so I'll just uh, uh, know you that I'll just just you can remember that CS mode is used for permission yeah and here permission is uh, done from 0 to uh, 7 sections yeah? there will be 0 to 7 sections yeah 0 1 2 3 0 is for a non user I mean to say don't give permission to anyone yeah no permission nothing will be done no, no read no write or executable nothing that means that is 0 but 7 means that you are applicable to read write and execute yeah so i am reading seven here and it's been, uh, it, it is used for three sections that means user other and a group yeah user group and other uh, that's that is used that, that section is used for three so i'm using three seven here now finally for which you want to make it that means I'm making this for composer and where is the composer this composer is in slash user file slash local and slash p right so I'm giving this as a permission of read execute and write okay fine I think this has been working let's check again composer wow it's been working right so uh, I think everyone know that how we can make it clever for the composer from uh, I'm I, I already said to the Mac section and Linux section is the same because I'm using the same instruction that is followed for Linux Unix and OS X Okay uh, For the Windows uh, users you can uh, simply do this in your uh, command line and then you'll be working fine. Yeah, and if you want to know that composer is working also cmpo as a composer and you can check it is version yeah which version you are using i'm using a 1.5.1 yeah just before we were downloading 1.5.1 and so it's showing the same version that i have been downloading latest one okay fine guys so now i'll teach you how you can download your letter into your mason this video is gonna be a little bit long then please don't worry about it cd and go to your xdx folder that is in my xdx folder is an application jam and there is the xdx folder yeah okay uh okay i would like to make there one folder that okay that it is and i would like to make the one folder yeah and the folder name is uh wait okay laravel laravel series okay Laravel series. I'm making a folder Laravel series, and okay. Now I'll go to that folder Laravel Laravel series, and then I'll write there. Uh, I'll make there a project for you people. Okay. Uh, first of all, just to type composer create project Laravel slash Laravel space and uh, the project that you are gonna make okay uh, okay I, I'm I'll be doing for the blog sections okay so I can write a blog if you are not doing blog if you are uh, working on your entertainment entertainment then you can write entertainment okay if you are working for the football system then you can write a football if you are working with college management system then you can write a CMS and uh, anything whatever you are uh, working on then you can write that yeah okay so uh, right now uh, is, is it to uh, write here blog so I'll be writing here blog and it takes some time and then this will be finished creating a project yeah then after this we'll be uh, working on the next tutorial about how uh, uh, we'll be running PSP uh, into the server and then for the section that uh, uh, about the structure of, uh, of the learner thank you guys